But I won't lie, this past winter was pretty intense. Trial by snow, trial by fire, fighters union. I'm getting used to dealing with problems that are expensive, disruptive, and white. I'm talking about snowflakes, snowflakes, I mean snowstorm snowflakes. I'm getting used to dealing with problems that are expensive, disruptive, and white. I'm talking about snowflakes, snowflakes, I mean snowstorm snowflakes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, these people just continue to show the world what they really stand for. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about woke Democrats once again after Boston's mayor, Michelle Wu, has found herself in a lot of controversy after an email was sent by mistake by a member of her staff inviting all city councillors to a holiday party. But the catch is the email and obviously the party itself was only intended for electeds of colour. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, you can't make it up, can you? And it's hilarious because these Democrats just scream about discrimination everywhere they go, right? We need to stop discrimination, yet they're the ones who are always discriminating and more often than not discriminating against white people, which obviously is completely justifiable, right, guys? You know, it's 2023. It's okay. It's cool. Well, that's a narrative in play. Anyway, wait, white people being discriminated against? <laughs> who cares about that one? Yeah, I can guarantee you if it's the other way around, your local Walmart is getting looted the next day. It's interesting how it works, isn't it? But before we carry on with this madness, if you could, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 60k. Turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. Comment on this video, share this video, and let's just get into this. Boston Mayor Michelle Wu plans no white holiday party for councillors. Aid accidentally sent group email invite men only for electeds of colour. The Democratic Mayor of Boston has sparked outrage after inviting city council to a holiday party intended only for electeds of colour. Michelle Wu's invitation for the December 13th electeds of colour holiday party appeared to have been sent out to all councillors in an error by her aide, Denise Dos Santos. Dos Santos followed up the email 15 minutes later apologising for the invite, so not apologising about the party itself, but the invite. <laughs> I'm done, man. Clarifying that it was only meant for the City 6 councillors of colour. The seven white council members were not welcome. How is this not racist? Right, it's absolutely insane. And then obviously when leftist liberals see this story, they'll be like, well, white people can't actually experience racism. They can't experience discrimination, which actually reminds me a few years ago, I had a conversation with somebody at a job I was working at where they were trying to tell me white people couldn't experience racism. And within five minutes into the debate, you start to realize how delusional that way of thinking is and also how delusional people can also be. <laughs> if this was the other way around, the mainstream media would be covering it the very next minute and wouldn't stop talking about it. But how long is it going to take for them to forget about this one? Probably tomorrow. Probably now. They've probably forgotten about it. They're probably talking about something else. It's insane. I wanted to apologize for my previous email regarding a holiday party for tomorrow, Dos Santos, a black woman wrote. I did send that to everyone by accident and I apologize if my email may have offended or come across as so. Sorry for any confusion this may have caused. There was no apology for actually planning to host a racially segregated party. Yeah, there was no apology again for the party but sending an email to the wrong people. Wu was slammed by outgoing city councillor Frank Baker who told the Boston Herald that it was unfortunate and divisive. The move quickly developed divided Boston City Council, with some saying they were not offended by the party, while others questioned Wu's judgment. Wu was elected mayor of Boston in 2021, becoming the city's first female and first Asian American mayor. Michael McCormack, an attorney and former five-term Boston City Councillor, said Wu's hosting an exclusive party is not typical of our office, and argued former mayors Tom Menino and Ray Flynn would have invited the entire chamber. The problem is that Boston and race, unfortunately, are synonymous, McCormack said. I'm just hoping it was a mistake. It's not some Something that anyone in the mayor's office should be proud of. Yeah, I think they're proud of it. However, Wu spokesperson Ricardo Patron said on Wednesday that the mayor was asked to host the annual party by the electeds of color group and the host and location changes every year. You know, that last part actually surprised me. And then I sat there and thought about it for a couple of seconds and then it hit me. Yeah, I shouldn't be surprised about this. It seems like this party has been going on for years and people have only found out about it now because of the email that was sent to the wrong people. It's absolutely insane. And what is so interesting about these people who act in this way, the ones who always scream again about discrimination, racism, white supremacy, are actually in relationships with white people. For example, AOC is engaged to a white guy. Kamala Harris is married to a white guy. And Boston's mayor, Michelle Wu, is also married to a white guy. It just doesn't make any sense visually. 
does it. The people they call evil are the same people they're in relationships with. I wonder what the relationship dynamics are like. I imagine women clearly wear the pants in those ones. But defiant Boston Mayor Michelle Wu arrives to her no white holiday party. Despite criticism, the electeds of color party is divisive. Unrepentant city leader says she's honored to be part of the group. Speaking alongside Russell Holmes, a Massachusetts state's representative outside of the event at the city's Parkman house, Wu claimed to members of the media that some of the folks who are concerned might also just not have all the information. Outside the venue, Wu and Holmes defended the no whites event and said there are countless examples of representation representative groups based on race, with both citing the Congressional Black Caucus in Washington, D.C. as an example. I can understand someone might be confused or worried if certain people weren't being invited at all or were being left out of any type of celebration, but I assure you, everyone on the Boston City Council has got an invitation to multiple types of events and holiday parties, Wu said. The segregated holiday party for electeds of color has been held for years in Boston. Again, it's been held for years. This is just absolute insanity that came under under scrutiny this year after an email invitation was sent to all 13 members of the city council, only for them to be rescinded from the seven white councillors 15 minutes later. Rep Holmes chimed in during the impromptu press conference, the controversy really should be that this is the first time we've had a woman mayor and a person of colour and Asian elected here in the city, he said. Democratic councillor Fran Baker, who was white, disagreed. I do find it divisive, but what are you going to do about it? You don't want me at a party, I'm not going to come to a party, he told WHD. H. And here is the Boston mayor being interviewed and addressing the controversy. Tonight, Boston's mayor, Michelle Wu, admits that a mistake was made in an invitation to a holiday party. Members of the Boston City Council received an email invitation to what's called a gathering of electeds of color. Not all members of the council fit that description. I think we've we've had individual conversations with everyone so people understand that it was truly just a an honest mistake that went out in in typing the email field and um, I look forward to celebrating with everyone at the holiday parties that we will have besides this one as well so um, it is my intention that we can again um, be a city that lives our values and create space for all kinds of communities to come together the mayor apologizing for any confusion that the original email created. Imagine not even apologizing for the division you're causing, but everybody who's involved is upset that the email got sent to the wrong people. <laughs> everybody involved should be fired, right? That is the right consequence for these actions. But would it happen? No, of course not. Because if she was fired and other people were fired, people would scream, oh, that, that's racism. Imagine what they're talking about at these parties, right? Imagine the conversations. I would love to be a fly on the... Wait, I don't qualify. I don't tick the box. I wouldn't be allowed in. I'm actually half Indian. So would I qualify? <laughs> uh, who knows? Who knows at this point? She stands there. She smiles. She's pushing division and nothing is done about it. But what are your thoughts on this one, ladies and gentlemen? What are your thoughts on this segregated holiday party? I'd like to know. If you have enjoyed today, then make sure to leave a like rating again. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, comment on this video, share this video. But until next time, it has been your boy JD. Have a great day, stay safe, and I'm out. Peace. It's going to be an interesting Christmas this year, isn't it? Oh boy.